Thank you for joining us. I'm Naiva Reynoso. Ahead, making sure people have enough to eat. Plus, a pathway home for residents starting over. And local heroes making a difference. But first, meet Christopher, a recent college graduate who is getting financial breathing room thanks to the county's guaranteed income program called Breathe. The program is one of the largest guaranteed income programs in the nation, providing $1,000 a month for three years to 1,000 people to relieve poverty and help those who are struggling to get back on their feet. Here's more. Uh, my name is Christopher. I'm from the city of North Hollywood. When I applied to the program, I was still attending university. Um, I was towards the last semester to graduate. I was kind of trying to figure out, you know, where am I going to start working? I was going to start probably living off of most of my savings. My dad was the one who told me about the Breathe program. Um, of course, I thought about giving back to them as well. It wasn't just something that I'm taking for myself. Uh, we had found out that there was a cancerous tumor on my mom's uh, left side breast and she had to stop working for a while. But my dad was left with a lot of the bills just himself. That extra money pretty much supplemented what my mom wasn't making at the time and being able to kind of help my dad and not leave all the costs just to him. It was just just kind of out of the blue and it was just it was just really scary for all of us and, and it really changed the way that I guess we we see life now. Yeah I mean I'm just Kind of happy that everything turned out okay and you know things are looking things are looking up right now yeah things are looking much better being a part of the breathe program it, it leaves me room to just breathe and, and focus on the things that are really important in my life the things that i value So um, a coach can mean a lot of different things on any given day, um, but really what we're here for is to be their point person, any participant who's looking to, to move forward in their life in whatever you know instance that that could be, whether that's going back to school, getting a new job, or just getting a grasp on their, their household. She did give me a lot of different ways and approaches of what I could do with the money and just other opportunities that are available to me. It's never advising them on how to use their money. I believe everyone knows how to use the money that they need to move um, in their households, of course. And that's the beauty of this program too, that they, they're allowed that, that choice. Yeah, I was working as a behavior interventionist for some time after graduating, uh, but I was offered a job with LA County. It's something that I had been chasing for some time while I was still attending school too. So I'm just super excited to work with uh, DCFS and to see what opportunities that'll bring into my life and how I can help other people. A food giveaway in City Terrace was welcome news for families facing food insecurity. With the high cost of living, residents were happy to get some free staples. Today we're at City Terrace Park and we're gonna be giving out a thousand boxes of food stuff, nutritious items for families. I've been struggling a bit because it's been hard to find a job. As you can tell, uh, we have a large number of people, families, seniors, mothers, fathers that are coming in. We know that the need is so great here in LA County. So the food bank has been partnering with uh, the, the county to hold these distributions typically every week. Uh, so we move to a different part of the county, a different supervisorial district. Uh, help me through to, uh, to another rainy day. I mean, the food is good, you know, I know food banks is very good and, you know, it's gonna help us, you know, eat good. I'm looking forward, hopefully, to like some fresh fruit and vegetables and something with the life on the shelf and to put, like, to take it home to my kids. Uh, we are trying to do our best here in LA County. If you need assistance, call 211 and an operator there can help direct you to where uh, services for LA County are available as well as when the next uh, food distribution will be held. These types of distributions, as you can see, have a big impact and are much appreciated by people coming through. Thank you very much for everything and you know, I appreciate it and I hope uh, you guys keep you know, helping us out. I just want to say thank you, um, everyone in the community. Uh, it, it benefits us and I know we're really grateful. 
Residents of a former RV encampment in Walnut Park are now housed and starting over thanks to the county's Pathway Home Program, an intensified effort to move people indoors. Here's more. proud to be a member of the county family um, and to be a part of really creating, as the program is aptly named, Pathway Home for fellow Angelinos. Very proud of uh, the role the RV encampment pilot is playing as a part of Pathway Home because our goal has always been to make sure Angelinos who are unhoused, who find themselves in RVs, all of which are not habitable, to allow them to, once they relinquish that, to transition into temporary housing, then permanent supportive housing. That's a part of the whole vision around Pathway Home. We partner collaboratively with LASA, our partners. Um, we are a co-response model to all of our homeless encampments. We do outreach together to get to know the individuals and to come up with a, uh, what the best process is for the person experiencing homelessness. We're asking them to trust us um, with significant life changes. They believe that they're housed. They believe this is their shelter. Um, these are not dwellings. This it's in the name. It's a recreational vehicle. Most of us get them to go out and have fun. This is not fun living in the inner city trying to survive. I'm Holly. I am, I'm Katrina. Nice to meet you. Katrina. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, thank you. So you gonna let us help you today? Yeah, of course. I just had a really powerful conversation with a woman who shared with me the what she's experienced on the streets since 2012. The loss of her partner in, a year ago, 2022. And we just talked about it um, woman to woman, the realities of having to live on the street. And so she had lots of questions. She's heard from lots of her friends. Oh, if I come with you, if I relinquish the RV, am I still on the streets until you find me housing? So for me to be able to look her in the eye and tell her, you will get in a van and go to a motel today, where we will continue to support you, to help you craft your permanent supportive housing plan. And I promise her that when she signs her lease and gets her key to her permanent supportive housing location, that I'm gonna come see her again. This is my husband. I was with him for 19 years. I know he'll be happy. I know he'll be happy that I'm like doing what I'm doing right now. You know, and getting my shit together like he would say, get your shit right. But, you know, like that's the only thing is because I'm I feel like I'm leaving him back out here in the streets, you know? But it'll be alright. We'll be okay with The recreational vehicles are often inoperable. They may not be safe for people to be living in. Um, it's a very, very difficult living situation. So we are especially thankful that we're able to offer these residents a place to come inside uh, in a safe and healthy environment. I believe this is gonna be a successful um, encampment ex removal experience today. Uh, and I'm proud of the work of the county and all of our nonprofit partners. The Human Relations Commission recently handed out the John Anson Ford Human Relations Awards that recognize champions making a difference in our communities. Take a look. Can we combat violence and hate with peace and love? Se puede? Si se puede. Si. Since 1972, the annual John Anson Ford Human Relations Awards have identified and honored human relations champions each year. The people that we are recognizing today are people, organizations, leaders who are really leading with love. I think that just goes to show the power of this commission, the power of their recognition, and what it means uh, to call forward people in our community who are doing the work day in and day out, which may not uh, always get the recognition that it deserves. So we take moments like this to honor those who continue that work, whether people are watching or not, they're there doing the hard work to uplift those who are most vulnerable in our county. Unions civil rights, voting rights, uh, fighting against discrimination, or all those things wrapped up in what these individuals who are receiving these special honors represent. The Asian Youth Center 
has been speaking directly to the community, better understand the impact of pandemic-fueled hate. New Way of Life's Testify program, providing us a powerful way to understand formerly incarcerated women, which is so important to better understand and battle the, anti the racist policies of our past and to create better anti-racist systems for transformative justice. Gayless LGBTQ plus Armenian society has been with us countering the destructive stereotypes that especially now are targeting schools and communities. Sanemos Juntos project of Orale, helping so many in our communities to heal those hurting from the onslaught of anti-immigrant hate. HE Arts, Heart, using the power of performing arts to promote diversity and better human relations. I'm also very inspired uh, by the commission for honoring a good friend and comadre of mine, and that's our good friend, our co-founder of the United Farm Workers, Dolores Huerta. Before I start with uh, remarks from my mother, I just want to thank you all so much on behalf of my family for uh, bestowing this wonderful recognition upon my mother. I look forward to working with the commission on LA versus hate and all their programs so we can achieve the human rights of justice equality and inclusion that we all deserve. Thanks for joining us. We leave you now with scenes from Snow Creek Park in Walnut. We'll see you next time on LA County Close Up.